Hey, I'm Patrick with Greenfront Raleigh here today for another edition of Greenfront TV, aka GFTV. And today I was pulling together a room setting for the holidays. They're fast approaching and I realized in the process of all this that I didn't have much to put on the table and what would be missing would be all of the, you know, the accoutrements, the goodies that we're so used to. I was thinking, why don't we go right around the corner since everything for me right now is about local love and visit our good friends at Catering Works. Come on, let's go. Wow, that was fast. I'm already here at Catering Works and getting ready to introduce you to the owner, Jill. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. We are so happy to show you what we have going on for the holidays here Perfect. at Catering Works. We've got Chef Rich coming up next to show you how to brine a turkey. And then we've got a beautiful holiday spread that we've partnered with Greenfront on to show you how to make a beautiful table. And you can get all your one-stop shop from Catering Works for turkeys, the side dishes, appetizers, whatever you need. Cocktails. And cocktails. cocktails. You can't forget the cocktails. Come on over and let me show you the new dish to Rich. Perfect. show you how to brine the main event, the main dish at your holiday table, which is the turkey. Yeah, I'm excited to be able to do this for you. What we learned is that um, doing so many Thanksgiving dinners is that if you thaw your turkey on a Saturday and you brine it on a Tuesday, then you have an opportunity to, to dry it out in your refrigerator on a Wednesday before so you'll have a full 24 hour dry. That way you'll be able to keep it tender and juicy and it'll be delicious. And this is very simple if you have the space in your refrigerator. So what you'll take is uh, two quarts of hot water, which is what we're gonna put in here. You have a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of salt. And this is the base part of the brine solution. So really this is probably all that you would truly need if you were trying to tenderize the, the actual turkey and you wanted it to, to be, um, you know, not dry out. So what I have here is some lemons, uh, rosemary, and thyme, and this is what I like to typically put into it, but at the end of the, end of the day, this is like the aromatics and the different flavors that you can add to it. So what we'll do is we'll just add this into it, and then using like a bag, you can put this all into your turkey, into a bag, and then like I said, brine this for 24 hours in your refrigerator, and then that way you'll be able to have a beautiful turkey on Thanksgiving Day. But if you don't have time to brine, you can call us at Catering Works. That's right. And we'll yeah. brine it for you. We'll brine it, you can bake it. Yeah, not everybody's got that space. And if you wanted us to do it for you, so we'll have the actual opportunity to do it this year. So thank you so much. Absolutely. And now we're going to go uh, talk to Patrick and show you how Catering Works and Greenfront has partnered to make a beautiful Thanksgiving spread. Wow, Jill, this is awesome. A great tablescape. There's so much I want to know. If you could, um, maybe start us out with what's going on here. What's the menu? Well, we have got Thanksgiving. And we are super excited for this holiday because we think people are just going to blow it out. <laughs> <laughs> totally, absolutely. Everybody's ready to ha share a meal together. Um, so what we're offering this year at um, Catering Works for Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, we can do as much or as little as you'd like, and we love to partner with you. Like we say, get all of your furnishings at Greenfront and come on over to Catering Works for your one-stop shop. Absolutely. And we can help you. Um, we showed you how to brine a turkey. Um, we do deep fried turkeys. Mm. We do, um, we also, for the vegetarians, we have some pretty amazing center of the plate entrees. Um, so you should check us out. Absolutely, absolutely. So speaking of which, you, you can actually design your own menu and what you want to do. So people can actually just have a turkey delivered to the doorstep, cooked or not cooked, um, or the whole spread, including the flower arrangements. Could you tell us about that? Yes, we do. We are a turnkey operation here. We can provide as much or as little as you need. Okay. We can do your whole turkey. We can do a deep fried turkey. We can brine your turkey. Um, or you can just get your side dishes from us. Yeah. Um, and we also, you know, and that goes for all of your holiday entertaining. Perfect, so show us a little bit what's going on. What, what's okay, on the so menu? so we've got a spiral cut ham with a beautiful brown sugar glaze mm. on it. 
We have um, some homemade sweet potato biscuits. Um, these are not the only things on there. We have so many different bread options this year because we know bread is important. Yeah, bread's good. <laughs> yes, and then our cranberry chutney this year we're making with red wine and hibiscus. Um, hibiscus is like one of my favorite flavors. I'm kind of into it right now. So that is gonna be our cranberry sauce this year. We have a beautiful butternut bisque on the menu, and that is a vegan option, which we are finding we have more and more people that want plant-based options. Yeah. So we're, um, we like to be accommodating all the way around. And then of course, um, Bloomworks is our floral company, and um, we can create a beautiful tablescape for our customers as long as they um, you know, are using green front for their beautiful furnishings. Yeah. So Joe, I think myself, my family, friends, and everybody out there would um, like for me to ask, like, what about the cocktails? Oh, cocktails are very important, especially with families around, because sometimes it's what gets you through the Absolutely. event, right? Absolutely, a little tonic, yeah. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, so you can start off like with a really like refreshing Prosecco spritz with, um, this just has a little pomegranate in it. Easy. Um, we could do, you can do a pomegranate bellini with a little pomegranate um, juice. You could do, um, one popular one I'm doing this year is an apple cider um, mimosa. Gotcha. Kind of fun, right? Um, kind of going with the fall theme. And then as you get into Christmas, you might want to take it up a notch or two and get into some of your more, um, you know, cranberry and vodka. Yeah, hardcore. A little bit more yeah. hardcore. Spice it up. Yeah, really spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, perfect. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. cheers to well, us. Cheers. Cheers yeah. to us and cheers to, to a wonderful ending of a year. Couldn't be better. <laughs> right? <laughs>